his brother up there and his wife, my aunt and uncle, and uh, they used to live up near me in Ohio, and a couple years ago, uh, they decided to move to South Carolina, because they had two children that had moved uh, to this area, and I think they were just tired of, uh, it's a beautiful look, they were just tired of um, Ohio winners. Uh, they lived in a snow belt, so, I mean, I remember years where it was like 27, 32 inches of snow. Um, well, like, me and Salem, we had like 6 or 8, so they got that lake effect snow. Anyways, that's beside the point. What we're doing today is uh, spreading my father's ashes, so apparently at one point in time, uh, both my uncle and myself, actually I believe my father told me he wanted it done, and uh, I guess I never respected his wishes when he was alive, or in his death, but it's also good to know, that's weird, that my uncle didn't do the same thing, so uh, we're gonna spread his ashes, he's got a bag full of them, I've got a bag full of them, and uh, we both said we were going to do it off the back of a motorcycle, but uh, my uncle's a little too old, has a blind eye, and he doesn't really ride bikes anymore. So um, he's doing it out of uh, his uh, Mazda with my aunt. Um, I, however, am going to do it on the back of the motorcycle. Um, but I always wanted to do it on the back of the Triumph. Uh, I have a uh, Triumph. Uh, I think it's a 69 TR6 uh, 50 uh, Triumph, and uh, we uh, restored it before his death. But we're in the process, and it was ultimately supposed to be like my wedding gift. But uh, first off, it was never done. Um, by the time my actual wedding happened, and he ended up dying before it also got done. So I think after his death, uh, the guy who was restoring it really, really put his, uh, you know, made it a top priority. Because it was, it was never a top, top, to be top priority, as my father was alive. Because um, he was a big guy. He could have never, never rode the bike more than, uh, you know, around the block or something. It was, Old shocks, old springs, and again, he's a, he was a big butch. So nonetheless, that's, uh, heck, he died in 2007, so what are we looking at? We're looking at, uh, 16 years? Is that right, man? So 2010 would make it three years, and then, um, 2020 would make it... 10 years, so yeah, 16 years later, um, we decided to drop his ashes. So this is Bald Rock Preserve, no graffiti, no littering. Um, I don't know if we're getting out here or not.